Wonder Woman. The movie is out. Well, it's almost out. I got a sneak peek. Got to check it out. And it was good. It stars uh, Gal Gadot, of course, as Wonder Woman. And also Chris Pine, who was actually, actually pretty funny. He carried the comedy in the movie. Not a lot of slapstick type comedy or anything like that, not goofy comedy, but just a few one-liners placed in the right place. It was, it was funny. Uh, Danny Hudson is in the movie, as is uh, David Thewis. I think I said that right, but who knows for sure. Um, the movie starts out in, actually, it starts out with Wonder Woman telling the tale of how she became Wonder Woman, uh, essentially. Um, she's doing something, and as an afterthought, she's like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and it kind of go back. And the entire movie is a uh, flashback. Kind of reminded me, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie Pootie Tang, but that entire movie was a flashback. That movie starts out with them talking about this upcoming movie, Pootie Tang. And he says, you know, what do we say about the movie? We've got a clip. Roll it. Da, da, da. And the entire movie is the clip. That's sort of what Wonder Woman is. Wonder Woman's like, you know, back in my day kind of a thing. And the entire rest of the movie is her remembering stuff. Um, it, was, it was good. It starts out giving you an idea of who she is, where she comes from, the mascara, um, which a lot of people will recognize as Paradise Island. Um, but she's on the mascara. She rescues Steve Trevor, brings him back to the good old U.S. of A. so she can get involved in a war to end all wars. And she brings a lot of her magical items that her mother was like, mm -mm, it's not for you. She takes them. She kind of, she kind of jacks these items and brings them with her. Um, the fight scenes were good, but they weren't great. I was looking for um, Batman-esque fight scenes where she just went to town. I mean, because she's she's really old. She's like a thousand years old or something like that depending on which origin story they go with. And um, she's been fighting for a long time. So she's actually a better fighter than Batman. And to have seen Batman and Batman v Superman, and he's, it was, that was the best part of the movie was the fight scenes. I was looking for the fight scenes in this movie to be the best part. But they were just okay. Um, the movie's not bad. It's just not incredible. And I was hoping for incredible. I was hoping to have my shoes knocked off my feet. And I kind of left, kind of left with my shoes still on my feet. Um, had an aspect of a lot of different Disney stuff. There's a few scenes in there that remind me of scenes that I've seen in um, their cartoons or other Disney movies. Kind of paid homage to different things. And that was actually done pretty cool. I did dig that. Um, for me personally, it was a little bit too much CG in the movie. I didn't dig that. You can kind of see where the, um, where the green screen was at. Um, uh, as always, I stayed until the lights came on, and I did that for you, man. And uh, there's no Easter egg. There is not an Easter egg. And I mean, I stayed until the people were coming in to sweep the floors, man. There was nothing. I was kind of bummed about that because I figured that they would have a little bit of, uh, you know, what's going to happen when Dark Side comes or, you know, what's up with the mother boxes or, or, or something. But, nope, they didn't have none of that. So, you know, 
there was that. It was a good movie. I don't want to make it sound like it was not a good movie, but right now DC and Marvel are in a race with one another to see who's the biggest, the baddest, the fastest. And DC not only got off to a slow start, but they haven't really been able to catch their stride. And this movie is another step in the race, but it's not a quicker, faster, stronger one. You know, you're not going to look at this movie and say, whoa, you know, it blew Captain America Civil War out of the water. You know, it was better than Green Lantern, but it, it was not the best. Now, maybe that's what it was. I was expecting it to be the best DC movie so far. And I don't think it was. So maybe that's why I'm a little bit bitter. But even with that, I would still give this movie six bags of popcorn. Or, you know what? Seven bags of popcorn. Let's do that. And as always, if you dig the video, if you like the content, right over here in the corner, click my face and subscribe. And then like.